Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to add a PDF to your Squarespace website. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official Squarespace website right here, squarespace.com if you're not already. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can get started with logging into your account. So go ahead and log into your account where your website is. And after doing so, you'll be greeted by the dashboard right here. And under the dashboard, we can find all the sites we have. So what I want to do is to go ahead and open up the site that I want to add a PDF to. So I'm going to click the website button right here. That's going to open up this page right here. And now I can get start with adding my files so basically guys you'll be greeted by this main page right here where at the set life side of the screen you can find all the sessions such as website product services and so on and above this is going to be called the edit page so go ahead and click on edit and this is now going to open up the page where you can edit it and add new stuff so you can edit your header footer and one of the options right here is to going to be called add block so in your middle section you can get started with adding a block and a block is what we want to add so here as you can see blocks are the stuff like images buttons and so on and what we can do guys to be able to add a block is to add a pdf file but basically guys you can not add pdf files what you have to do is convert your pdf files to images using a converter and after you have gotten your images from the pdf files what you want to do is click on the image option right here and get started with adding those files by clicking the plus button you can upload your file selecting from a library and so on and after doing so you can add all the images right here and everybody that access the websites will be able to see them but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel See you guys, thanks for watching, take care and bye.